In today's video, we are going to be playing some Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S games. We're going to show you some of the best graphics in these consoles right now for games that you can pick up today. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's jump right in. So the first game that we're going to be playing today will be Forza 5. What I love about this game is how beautiful it is graphically. It's just, there's nothing that can compare to this. So. Forza Horizon 5 is the best racing slash racing simulation slash racing arcade game, whatever you want to call it. It just looks absolutely amazing. We can join this race if we really want to, but I'm not going to do that for now. What I'm going to do is just ride around for a little bit and show you some of these insane video game graphics. But it's going to be quite hard because, you know, doing two things at once is quite a challenge, but we're going to do it anyway. But what I love about this game is you can just ride around anywhere. It's open world and you can discover places as you go. I absolutely love it. Now we're just going to randomly go somewhere else. And you can see like the mountains and beautiful scenery in the background as we go. And it's all open world. But just experiencing this in real time is absolutely amazing. I could play this for a great hour of just driving. I did this the other day actually. I drove for a good hour. And that's where I found the most joy, is just experiencing all the different places by just driving around. As soon as you get your Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X, get yourself Forza 5. It is 100 gigabytes to download, but it's the most worthwhile 100 gigabytes you'll ever download in your entire life. You can definitely just enjoy playing this. Look how amazing this scenery is right now. Seriously, wow. All right, so that's the first game, Falls of Five. Highly recommended for everyone. We're gonna go to Ori and the Will of the Wisps. So this game is a recent game that I've picked up and it's just insanely beautiful. The scenery of this is just absolutely insane. Look at the background blur of this. You see everything in the background has this nice, beautiful color and tone. We've got the yellows, we've got the greens, we've got the darks, the contrast between all the different colors. It looks absolutely incredible and I love it. So I love how we have this beautiful tree right here and we have some really fun gameplay. See how like when you kill the creatures, we have this sort of light sword. It looks absolutely awesome. And it's like this 2D platform sort of game in a way. It's not really 2D, it's definitely 3D in this game. But I'm definitely enjoying playing this video game. Just being able to just roll around and collect items and explore the story. It's an absolutely amazing game and a real pleasure to play. Just look how amazing this is. We have this light trail coming from the characters. And as we see, as we just moved from a different area, we sort of came from the contrast of those yellows all the way to this sort of bluey, sort of purple, nice night color. See those leaves sort of falling in the background as well? It looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, this is a game that I highly recommend everyone to play. Battle mechanics look absolutely insane in this game. That's what really brings you into this game is the battle mechanics over here. So the next game that we will play today is gonna to be Doom Eternal. This game looks graphically sick. To me, it's funner than playing Halo Infinite. I find like, it's just way more fun. Like, look at this world. It's so sick. We're in this demolition, friggin' post-apocalyptic world and we just gotta shoot things it is just so much fun look at it just the world building of this game looks absolutely graphically astonishing oh i gotta beat this guy let's go see we can just boom smash that watch this so we can just splat some people as we can see we got a few back at what the heck he just came out of nowhere and you can just boom smash him boom boom smash him i love it Oh, we got the chainsaw out. Oh my gosh. It's just insane. Boom. Anyway, let's just move straight on to the next game. So this game is available both from PlayStation and Xbox. It is Hades. Such a cool game. What I like about this game is it has just this different platform to sort of playing and it doesn't matter if you die, you'll still have so much fun with this game. It is such a ball to play. Really enjoy this game. 
Hades. The best way that I can explain this game is it's a, like a hack and slash sort of game and you collect items along the way. I love the world building of this. It's kind of like ancient Rome sort of vibes, but demigod. And each sort of room I'm gonna say is pretty randomized. There's no real structure to this game. It's just hack and slash your way through and collect points along the way. And you don't really run out of points. Everything sort of just upgrades as it goes and you have so much fun doing so. As you can see, I'm having so much fun while playing this game. It is a lot of fun. I love how randomized it is as well. It's just really, really fun. As you can see, we've got these sort of ghouls and ghosts. I love how you have just this Y action button and then you can kill two things at once. It's really fun. And each room is different so if I go right it's gonna be different if I go left it's randomized there as well and as you can see that guy just mauled himself by going into that bomb right there and he just destroyed himself which is so much fun it just saves me from doing the job uh, we will do Microsoft Flight Simulator because this game is just really calming overall a really fun game to play for everyone as you can see it looks absolutely incredible Probably one of the best simulation games you can probably get for the Xbox. But what's cool is you're getting to see places that you've never ever seen before in a video game. So my favorite thing to do is just discovery flights, but you can do flight training, landing challenges. You can do all sorts in this game. So I definitely like just doing the discovery flights. And what I love is we have the Mount Everest, Giza, Bora Bora, and you can actually download so many new things over here. So we can do Mount Fuji, Tokyo, San Francisco, London, Fort William, Paris. There's so many options that you can download here and definitely explore new things that you've never seen before. Okay, we are ready to fly over Mount Everest. Look how absolutely incredible the scenery is. We just jumped straight in there and it looks absolutely incredible. As we can see, and we can control the plane by flying in different directions if we really want to. It is a lot of fun. And we can explore all these different areas. So right now we're at Mount Everest, but if we want to, we can definitely change Maybe Bora Bora looks really good on this game, so we can fly over Bora Bora. It looks absolutely incredible. As you can see, the water has amazing ray tracing, and the stuff in the background is all open world, so you can just discover it as you want. You can go as low as you sort of want to, you can go as high as you want to, you can go at any angle. It's just a calming game that you can relax to and just play around for a little bit. There's nothing really more to it. It's just being able to enjoy the game and exploring different scenery that you've never seen before. It looks absolutely amazing. And as we can see, we got the shadow of the plane there as well. That looks absolutely incredible. And it's pretty true to life, like how all the scenery looks. So I love how you can see the mountains in the background and we can go there if we really want to. And we can change the angles, we can change the viewing position. It's absolutely incredible, this game. So recently I started playing Deathloop as well, and it's been a lot of fun. I highly recommend it for anyone who has an Xbox Series X or S, and it's now available on there. It's no longer a PlayStation exclusive. It just looks absolutely awesome. As you can see with these graphics with the loading screen, it looks absolutely awesome. We have something different here with these graphics and it looks really fun to play. I'm really enjoying it. So you have the male character and the female character and this absolutely amazing world that we've been dropped into and we're sort of trying to figure out what the heck's going on. But it, graphically, it looks absolutely insane. Look at this water, how it sort of, it looks there as well. And this is a really interesting game for you guys to play. So with this game, you sort of have to get out of this place and it is more of a shooter game more than anything it looks absolutely graphically insane in a way really like the graphics and we have these interesting letters that are sort of scattered across the world as well and this guy is sort of like this agent in a way but he forgot his memory but overall the graphics of this game is really really fun to play highly recommend it for anyone who wants to pick up a brand new game Look how amazing this is. It just looks absolutely incredible. I really, really love the graphics of this game. 
just a really fun game to play guys i do recommend this game it is very very fun we got the classic symbol to show you where you're supposed to go so we got to figure that out look how beautiful this world looks very very cool but yeah look how graphically amazing this game is and the world building of this game it looks absolutely awesome i am definitely having a lot of fun while playing this and i don't once again, like, I'm not much of a shooter type of person, but this game, I've been really impressed by it, and it's really, really fun. So, I definitely recommend it for anyone who wants to play an amazing shooter game with a lot of really fun gameplay, and graphically, it looks absolutely amazing. So, highly recommend this game for anyone. Let's move on to the next game. And you'll probably guess the last game by what I've already played already. But Elden Ring in this game looks graphically insane on the Xbox Series X. So let's delve straight into some Elden Ring action right here. All right, so we are back at the round table hold over here. Graphically, this game looks absolutely amazing. Look how beautiful it looks. Now let's go and explore some worlds in this game. And we are now at Leonia of Lakes sort of place and it looks absolutely beautiful as well you can sort of see the open world so we got this sort of floating random castle in the background over there that's gonna be interesting trying to get to there what's really fun is just playing sort of these these areas that you've never really seen before and so the thing with this game is you can die to anything and it's a very challenging game I've ended up at this random sort of fort over here, so this is going to be interesting. There's also like dungeons and stuff you can go into for cool items that you can get. Overall, I really love this game. And I love how I've never been here before, and I'm exploring all this brand new stuff. And we found a cool side of Lost Grace over here as well. There's almost no structure to this game as well, it's sort of just... You just roam around as you like and you can face the bosses whenever you like as well. This is the sort of Leonia of the lakes during daytime. It looks completely different as well. What I love about this is just how amazing this looks in sort of different times of the day as well. It looks really cool. So I'm going to go try and get my lost ruins back if I can without dying. As you can see, we've got that beautiful castle in the background and the elder tree it looks absolutely incredible graphically one of the most beautiful games you'll ever play in your life and you'll have so much fun while doing it so i highly recommend this game for anyone so overall these are my choices for the best game graphics for the xbox series x and the xbox series s if you have any choices let me know your recommendations down below and i'll see you guys next time